Day 6 of the Novena to St. Daniel Comboni, still exploring the fruits of Bishop and St. Daniel Comboni. The Comboni lay missionaries, CLM Uganda, started in the year 1999 with a small group of three young men and two young ladies who were inspired by the love, meekness and charity which the Komboni missionaries were showing to the people in the nearby slum areas of Kataza in the capital Kampala. Moved by such acts of charity and love, these young ladies and gentlemen opted to work with the missionaries, thus availing themselves for this new venture. They started their formation period on January 10th at the beginning of the millennium year 2000. The group has now grown to 24 members and even more. Uh, I joined this group by 2003, 2002. That's when I joined the formation program, which was here at the Southern Avenue at our, our house, main house. And this program was for six months. And it ended by 31st December 2002 and after the commission ceremony I was sent to Karamoja 2003 that is that was in Kangole parish Moroto diocese I worked there from 2003 up to 2016 of recent and I was transferred to come and serve here in Kasala parish of course another K parish there was Kangole, here is Kasala, and I've been here since 2016 up to now, and that's what I am. And I'm a teacher, and I teach in St. Andrew, St. Andrew Kagua Secondary School within the parish premises. Kombon and Lay Missionary Group is the first one I had first interface with. I have not been hearing of other lay groups in other congregations and that's why I joined that. And two, my life as a Christian has been so much influenced by Komboni missionaries in my parish. Because I've been in, a, in my former parish, right from home, that is Maracha parish, has been in the hands of Komboni missionaries for a long time. So there have been a, for the work of evangelization down to my village, down to my chapel, and those are the, that is the group that I got familiar with. So they, they really gave me a bit of uh, experience of their way of life, to know them, what they are doing, and I admire and being inspired, I mean inspired by what they do. So when, it, of course, I did not become, I did not become a religious, but when I got the chance as a lay Kombon missionary group, I decided immediately to apply and for which I was recruited. This group had already existed in other, other provinces, in other countries. But for Uganda, it looked to be new from that time. I think the people who, the fathers who were inspired, like Father Luis, the Mexican, and with the Father Enrico, Italian. That time, they were they were here in Mbuya Parish, and they moved to Kamocha side and work in the slums. 
Salam Sidia with the the HIV and the AIDS patients, uh, the poor and the street kids. From there, they were doing good work. And looking at these young men who were available to work with them and so on, I think the idea came in to start this group. So, for these people in Uganda, it looked to be new for Uganda. But I perceived by that time, Kombole missionaries group had existed in other countries. But I think there was no common coordination yet. Each one was operating within its own province. But now, for now, we're international and there's an international committee. So it has gone to international level. So we now operate from the national level, continental level, and the whole world like that. So this time we know each other and we know the different places. But from the beginning, we are not well versed whether it was, but it was there, I think. Then our pioneers in the group, we are five. The two are still there with us currently. The ladies, that is Regina Nansubuga and uh, Hope Mugara Rose is still with us. These are the two ladies, pioneers. And the gentlemen were their Katonda Joseph, currently has left us. Uh, Ivan Chinto was our coordinator, was a pioneer. And there is one whom I only knew of one name, Otter. I didn't know him so much. When I joined, I did not see him. So these are the five pioneers in our group. To understand them more, Komboni lay missionaries in Uganda are people, male and female, single or married, who have felt a particular vocation offering a period of their life to the evangelizing mission of the church following the charism of St. Daniel Komboni. They serve through their profession like teaching. Like me, I'm a teacher. I've been teaching. Accountants, some of them are accountants as professionals. Some of them are administrators, social workers. And this is what they use. When they are working, they try to emulate this in serving the church and trying to serve the local needs of the people. To be a lay missionary, to be lay means to, to, to be a person who is not really religious, but is an ordinary Christian who should be ready to animate the secular world through their way of life. And why missionary? We are also formed to serve in any other place rather than our uh, our what uh, familiar environment from which we are born. That's why we are called called lay missionary. Lay, not religious, missionary is so much that we are to be ready to move from our family environment to other places, whether within the local community, whether within the country, or even international. Today it has become an international group. I had a strong desire to serve in the church as a religious person, but other factors that could not make me to continue made me to come out and since this desire was strong to serve in a more special way in the church I felt it was good enough for me to join this group that will give me an opportunity to reach other people and serve like an ordinary Christian but in a special way under the charisma of Kombon. But limited to their number we, are, we have not reached other diocese altogether. Because we work in the diocese, where the possibilities lie. And the first priority lies where Komboni missionaries serve in the parishes and in the diocese. So at the moment, the Komboni missionaries are currently working in it. One in Kampala, as the diocese, they are there. Kampala diocese, Kasana Luero diocese, that's where I am with my coordinator and with the other members, about two or three. We have those ones who are working in Guru, diocese. 
and those are the current. Of course, previously was Moroto, Karamoja, where I came from. And at the moment, right now, we don't have a member serving there. We also have uh, Marara Diocese, because we have one member down there who is working as a teacher. For one, design to be a Kombonle missionary, you are to be, first of all, you have to be a Catholic, a, a Christian who is a Catholic, a Christian who is a Catholic, a baptized, confirmed, and is ready to serve the Christian communities. So if you have this basis of being a Catholic and a Christian, then you apply. In the application, we expect that you should have finished the minimum of all uh, Uganda Certificate of Education. All level, you should have the certificate. And that is the basis. And you should have, uh, you should have trained yourself also in what? In a, in a skill, in a profession. The reason for this is that we are not religious. We don't stay in the communities where we may be supporting each other. It is that qualification that we always require from you that when you become a member, you are going to do your work as you had trained yourself, get the little earning that can support you as an individual or a community. So you apply. After application, the executive sees and the try to check through the application, you are shortlisted, and then they send you a message to call you for what we call come and see program. At the main center here, at the Solent Avenue. After this program, at times it runs two, five, three days, or one week, day after you go back, and they will call you, they arrange for what we call the formation program and they arrange and they call you. If the come and see program had a big impact and positive for you, then it is upon your response that you will come or you will not come. If you come, they give you formation program and it lasts for, it has been moving but this time it is one year. From the beginning we are for four, six months. So one year day after they commission you and they assign you to go to work where your profession deserves and where there is a need also. In so doing, they give witness to Christ through their personal, human and Christian maturity, their professions and activities of direct evangelization. After formation, they are sent to the missions where their services are utilized in the communities where they share everything in common. They offer a percentage of their salary to the group to cater for formation and administration. You see, the society is very dynamic and very many activities for which we must also be very dynamic. The main focus of our activity is through our profession. But our profession may not serve everybody. If I'm a teacher, I may only serve with the profession in the school. But in the school, I must not only do the service of teaching alone in the class, I must be ready to serve in other ways. So one, we do our professional work as a teacher, I teach. Apart from that, there are other activities of Christian initiation, uh, evangelization to other people, which the society may not consider to be uh, very important for them, for which we feel it is very important as the church activity directs. So normally we take into that activity. For example, preparing the children for mass, which uh, of course in our school set up, not uh, all teachers may be willing for that. Preparing the children for sacraments, carrying out instruction for sacraments with the candidates, which all teachers may not be willing for that. And for me, I'm a love of music at times in the church to prepare and then we get involved in music activities. Of course, as I'm saying, in, and meeting in mass, instructing children for sacraments. 
These are some of the church activities that we end up to do, other than only being a teacher through my profession. Pray for us, come on in, to see the poorest and most abandoned. Pray for us, come on in. As a Christian, we are called upon to serve our church, our brothers and sisters, with the word of God. And this can be done in different ways. And one of the ways is join Kombonle Missionary. And then I will call upon each and everybody to come and support this group by their membership. So that we can reach a bigger community than of now. Because right now our number is not so big. From the beginning we are very few. They started with five members. But this time they have, we have got a number of 15. And this number is not enough. And we have other challenges for which at times we may not reach to everybody where our professional may not accept us to reach. We pray that many come and join Kombole Missionary and we can animate the reality of the world with our simple way of life and to show to other people that the responsibility of evangelization in the church is not only to the religious, is to each and every Christian. Throughout the mission, they maintain the elements of formation such as morning and evening prayers, the louds and vespers, daily Eucharist, regular sacramental life, missionary or pastoral commitment, at least 30 minutes of personal prayer on the word of God daily. Pray for us, come on in, to see the poorest and most abandoned.